In this video, we're going to make something so that we can mount these batteries up on the wall. If you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe. So I got the battery sorted out, but we're going to mount it on the wall. Uh, so to do that, I've been clearing this part of the wall uh, where the shovels and axes used to be, and I've been pulling those off. I'm going to mount it there. By the way, I've turned off the solar hot water system. It's uh, 72 degrees in the garage right now, uh, so I don't need that running. Battery's looking good. This dimension here is 47 inches. So I picked up the sheet of plywood for free uh, several months ago from my neighbor uh, when he was taking apart uh, a warehouse and it's a sheet of 5 8 inch plywood. So what I've done so far is I've cut four strips. These are all 11 and 3 quarter uh, by 4 feet long. And I've also uh, gone ahead and I'm going to make my last cut here. I've been cutting up the edges, just, take, just shaving off a little bit. You can see the damage and things. So I'm just going to shave off this little bit here to have a clean glue surface. Sanded the edges. Uh, now I'm just going to give it uh, one coat of white paint. Uh, this is just what I had on the shelf. It happens to be uh, semi-gloss latex. You missed a spot! Before I go and put the second coat on, uh, I'm going to cut some holes. And I'm going to cut some holes for some fans. I want to make sure that I cool these uh, these batteries and the charge controller and inverter and so I picked up these uh, fans off uh, Amazon they are 120 millimeter it's about uh, four and three quarter almost black yellow green and blue green and blue are some kind of data but the black is the negative and the yellow is the positive and these run on 12 volts I have this battery here just for demonstration purposes there they go. Woo. So this will take the 48 volts and drop it down to 12 volts so that I can use the big battery that's already there uh, but run these fans. It's a washable filter medium and I picked this up just to keep the really big dust particles out of the cabinet. Alright, so the step down converter was $19. Uh, these fans were $27 and this filter medium was $6. So I'm going to use my circle cutting guide for my router, drop in some screws. I'll leave a link. I think this was a quarter inch spiral up cut bit. It looks like I want a four and a half inch diameter hole. Uh, so to do that, uh, this circle cutting guide comes with this pin and it goes up and I want four and a half. See the, the pin is now halfway. This circle cutting guide works great. Uh, next, I'm just going to do a simple round over. Five holes in the bottom are going to be an inlet and the five holes at the top are going to be an outlet. And now I'm running this tack cloth across it and uh, it's supposed to help pick up any of the little tiny particles. Ok, 
have a couple of blocks of wood just as shims uh, to shim it up to the right height and that way I make them all even across. Just a couple of drywall screws and now I can wire them together. <laughs> all right they're all turning a little bit big but see if we can get it in there Ooh. So darn I didn't think that was gonna cut down that much this was my original idea. I think I'm getting more flow out of it if I do it this way. I just put four staples in the corners. Now remember, this is gonna be the top, so nobody's really gonna see it. I'm trying to put together some shelves here, and I haven't worked with a slotted angle before. This is some stuff that I got for free. Uh, another thing my, my neighbor was able to get for me, actually. So for right now, I threw in a couple of small wood screws uh, with a large pan head on them uh, into this side. Uh, and that's, uh, I'm not going to rely on these to support the weight permanently, this is just uh, getting everything in place. I have all these plugs connecting the fans and I figure it'll be easier to add a wire now. So I'm just gonna cut this off. All right, I got a couple of splices on. Oh, plenty of extra wire to run those fans and I zip tied off the wire and the shelves I've bolted in the middle so that they don't flex. Okay the cabinet is going to be mounted to the wall right behind me. Now my studs in this garage are 24 inches on center and that box is 48 inches wide. But uh, this uh, protrusion here where I've, I went to a double stud versus a single stud, uh, there's another stud behind here. So what I'm going to do is be able to screw sideways into this one and grab this stud and this stud. So I'll have three studs to help hold up this uh, very heavy battery uh, along with the inverters and everything else that will wind up going up here. You can see I've already put in some screws and these are number 10 screws three inches long. So having those screws in there already should help me because that uh, cabinet box there is probably somewhere like 90 pounds, something like that. Uh, so I've already uh, put a cleat on here that is level. So I know that I just have to set the cabinet on this cleat and then slide it over until I hit this edge. And, uh, and then those holes should line up, hopefully. All right, let's see if it works. So there's the cabinet. That's where the batteries are gonna go. Uh, now I'm just going to add more screws uh, and notice that I was putting these screws in to the steel bracket uh, so that it would hold both the cabinet and the shelf. So got the cabinet up, anchored into three studs. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Uh, there's a couple of minor things that I want to add. Uh, what I'd like to do is put a bolt uh, here, here, and same thing over on this side uh, just so that this front support uh, this this front angle has a little bit more anchored in to the wall. Uh, we're anchored into three studs, even though they're 24 inches on center. 
uh, yeah, I mean, I'm psyched. So, it's coming together. Uh, the top two shelves are where the batteries are going to sit. And then this bottom portion is where I'm going to be able to put the inverters, the charge controllers, the fuses, things like that. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or even suggestions for me, because I'm not an expert on doing solar off-grid, uh, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Thanks.